हेलो एवरीवन आई एम पूर्णिमा राय विथ रोल नंबर टू जीरो एन एस जीरो टू वन जीरो एंड माई टॉपिक इज डेटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द डेंसिटी ऑफ द सोनोमीटर वायर बाई यूजिंग अ ट्यूनिंग फॉर्क ऑफ नोन फ्रिक्वेंसी फर्स्टली आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक सिपी सर पेमा सर एंड साबत सर फॉर गिविंग मे दिस टॉपिक इन दिस जर्नी ऑफ डूइंग दिस असाइनमेंट आई वुड डेल्प सो मच इन टू दिस टॉपिक एंड आई विल यूज दिस थिंग विच आई हैव गैदर्ड इन माई अपकमिंग डेज Now let's start with my topic. Apparatus required in this experiment are a sonometer, a piece of wire that is the sonometer wire, a tuning fork of known frequency, a meter scale, a padded hammer, some slotted weights, and a screw gauge, a common balance of weight box, etc. Now I will explain the experimental setup of the sonometer. This is the experimental setup of sonometer. Sonometer consists a wooden box, a rectangular wooden box with some holes for the free vibration. And this is the wire. with one end is fixed to a hook and passes through this bridges bridge b1 and bridge b2 and passes through a pulley this is the frictionless pulley and attached to a weight hanger with some slotted weights and the scale is fixed at the two sides of the sonometer which is used to measure the vibrating length between the two bridges by adjusting the two bridges b1 and b2 we can get the vibrating length of the wire and by changing the weights or by adding the weights in the weight hanger the tension varies in this wire in this wire and i have placed a paper rider between the bridges b1 and b2 this rectangular wooden box is also known as the sound box this sound box is used to make a large mass of air vibrate so that the sound produced by this vibrating wire get amplified once the setup is done a tuning fork is strike on a padded hammer strike on a padded hammer and placed between the two bridges placed between the two bridges b1 and b2 in front of the near the paper rider then a transverse wave is produced in the wire a transverse wave is produced in the wire and a stationary wave is produced due to the reflection of the transverse wave which is produced in this wire and their superposition when we placed the tuning fork near the paper rider then if the external periodic frequency of that fork and the frequency of the wire matches then a loop is formed and it looks like this loop is formed like this and this loop is known as the anti node and the points these two points are known as the node node is where the particles have no where the particle displacement is zero okay and in this anti node the particles have the maximum maximum displacement so that the paper rider will thrown violently in this region if i denote the length of the vibrating segment l then the length of the vibrating segment is lambda by 2 and from this we will get the value of lambda that is lambda is equals to 2l where lambda is the wave length okay lambda is the wave length of the wave which is produced in the wire okay and if n is the if n is the 
frequency of vibrating segment the vibrating segment then n is equals to v by lambda and we know the value of lambda so we will replace lambda by 2l then where n is equals to v by 2l where v is the speed of the wire no speed of the wave and we know the value of lambda is 2l l is the vibrating length of that segment now in the sonometer why the transverse wave is traveling then what happens when the transverse wave travel on a string or a wire here we are using the wire then the speed of the string or wire is given by the formula that is v is equals to under root t by m where t is the tension produced in the wire and m is the linear density or mass per unit length by substituting the value of v in the equation one the equation this is the equation one then we get n is equals to 1 by 2 l under root t by m from this equation this is the this equation is this n is equals to 1 by 2 l under root t by m and this is the frequency this is the this is known as the fundamental frequency frequency or it is also known as the first harmonic first harmonic okay and from this from this equation i will give this equation as the equation 2 from this equation 2 we will get we will get the value of this m linear mass from this equation 2 we will take out the value of m which is the linear density m is equals to first uh, we will take out the value of m that is m is equals to t by 4l square and n square this is the linear density okay this is the linear density and i will give this equation as equation 3 where m is equals to t by 4l square n square where t is the tension of the wire and l is the length of the vibrating wire and n is the frequency okay if m1 be the mass used for the stretching the wire then tension t is equals to m1 into z therefore the equation 3 therefore the equation 3 will be m is equals to m1 into z by 4 l square n square and i will give this equation as equation 4 now if rho and the d be the density and diameter of the wire respectively then m is equals to 1 by 4 pi d square and d square into rho substituting the value of m in equation this equation 4 we will get 1 by 4 pi d square rho is equals to m1 g by 4 l square n square from this from this equation we will get the value of rho is rho is rho is equals to g by pi n square d square into m1 by l square this is the final equation this is the equation i'll give this equation as the equation 5 this is the working formula of this experiment that is that is the density which is denoted by the rho is equals to g by pi n square d square into m1 by l square 
by finding the value of m1 by l square from the experiment and measuring the diameter of the wire measuring the diameter of the wire by using these screws we will find the density of the wire now we will see the procedure of this experiment the first step is to find out the diameter which is denoted by d of the sample wire at four different places by screw gauge in the usual method and at each place measurements are taken at the right angle directions from these observations get the mean value of the diameter which is then corrected for the instrumental error of the screw gauge if any how the diameter of the sample wire is measured by screw gauge i will let you know later in this video now step 2 if the weight of the hook is not known then it is to be detached from the wire and weighed in a balance which is which weight is denoted by the m2 gram then it is to be detached to attached to the wire again and the step 3 put a suitable weight wkg on the hook and it will produce a total tension of w plus m2 gram <coughs> w is the weight which we used in the hook plus the m2 is the weight of the hook or the weight hanger this has been referred to as the m1 in this experiment okay m1 is the total tension and due to this tension the wire will remain turned put the movable bridges bridge b1 away from the bridge 2 as possible and take a small paper rider in the form of the v <coughs> the paper rider in the form of the v and placed it at the middle of the portion of the bridges b1 and b2 of the wire in fourth step strike one of the prongs of the tuning fork with a padded hammer and press the vibrating fork on the sonometer board in front of the paper rider then the vibration of the fork will be transmitted to the wire which will be set into transverse vibrations now slowly move the bridge okay slowly move the bridges towards or far away to each other and due to the vibration of the wire the paper rider is violently thrown out now measure the length of the wire from b1 to b2 by a meter scale and in step 5 repeat the above of above observations or above operation at least three times okay at least three times and find the mean value mean length l and from this we'll get the value of m1 by l2 that is the ratio of the mass used for the producing tension and the corresponding resonant length of the wire and in step six repeat the observations using two different weights on the hook um, by changing the hooks okay we can get the uh, get the values okay we will get the value and each time find the value of m1 by l square each time by changing the weight no by changing the weight and adjusting the bridges we'll find the value of m1 by l square and from all these observations we'll get the main value of m1 by l square and the value of m1 by l square we will put in the equation that is the density equation that was the equation that equation was equation 5 that is rho is equals to g by pi n square d square into m1 by l square putting the value that we in the uh, putting the value of m1 by l square and the measuring the diameter of of the wire by a screw gauge and we have given that the uh, that given a known frequency tuning for work which uh, which is given this n is also given and d we have to find the value of d and find the value of m1 by l square then putting by the all the values in this equation we will get the density of the wire This screw gauge is the instrument used for measure accurately the diameter of a thin wire. It consists U frame with the screw spindle which is attached to a thimble. 
the head of the screw has a ratchet which await undue tightening the screw there is a circular scale and which have divided into 50 or 100 equal parts it is in zero now completed the one rotation and distance covered is one millimeter similarly completed a second rotation and distance is two millimeter equals to distance moved by screw cars by number of full rotation given the distance moved by screw cars is two millimeter by total number of full rotation is two from this we will get the value of pieces one millimeter and this count is equals to pitch by total number of division on the circular scale pitch is one millimeter by the total number of division on the circular scale is 100 then we'll get the value of list count that is 0 0.01 millimeter this is the observation table which i have taken the first observation is the man man scale value i have taken zero and the circular skill value which i have denoted by n is 14 and circular skill value into the list into list count is 14 into 0 0.01 and total reading is 0 0.414 millimeter and similarly i have taken the three two values like this total mean value of the diameter is 0 0.01 and this mean mean diameter is taken as the diameter of the wire that is 0 0.015 centimeter now we will see the observation table which i have observed from the experiment first observation i have taken is 1 kg weight in the hook and the total tension produced by this 1 kg hook is uh, weight that I have used in the hook is 1 kg plus the weight of the hook. I have used weight of the hook is 333.01 gram and, um, and adding the weight of the hook plus uh, weight of the weight we, which I have used in the hook is the total tension that is 1333.01 gram and i have taken the three different resonating length okay by putting one kg that is 24 25 and 26 centimeter and i have taken uh, and i have take out the mean value of this resonating length is 25 and then m1 by l square is 2.1328 similarly i have done this four four observations i have taken the four observations similarly i have done in the same method and i have take out the mean value of m1 by l square that is 0 0.91378 and now we will do the calculation of this experiment we have we know we know the diameter of the wire which we have measured in this screw guys okay that is the 0 0.015 centimeter and the frequency of the fork uh, we have we have taken this the frequency of the fork as 384 hertz 384 hertz and we know the value of g that is uh, 9.8 meter per second square by converting meter into centimeter we will get 980 centimeter per second square and we know the value of pi that is 3.14 and therefore the density of the material of the wire is the rho is equals to g by pi n square g square into m1 by s square and putting all the values of of this uh, putting the value of g pi n square d square m1 by l square we will get the value of the density that is rho is equals to the final value the density of the wire is 
रो इज इक्वल टू एट पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स सेवन वन थ्री ग्राम पर सेंटीमीटर क्यूब एंड दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द डेंसिटी एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो